While our commentary is generally considered family-friendly, this game is rated M by the ESRB. Hello and welcome back to more Stephen and Mao play Telltale Games The Walking Dead. Uh, on this episode, Mao is in control. We're currently down at River Street in Savannah, Georgia. There's a really creepy barricade that someone set up, and it has live walkers Great. on it. Needs a quarter to work. Do 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 do. You going to the cash register? Yep. Clever girl, clever. Mm hmm. I like how those things don't appear until you've done the thing that needs <laughs> it. Hello, beautiful. Empty. Yeah, that would have been too easy. You will never find a quarter. I could do it. one in the truck. Oh, wait, in there actually. Locked. Looks like it's still intact. Oh, you could break it and get quarters. I'm scared. Of telescopes? Yeah. When did you first develop your irrational fear of telescopes? This episode. This <laughs> I All mean, the what if there's a creepy man standing where I'm when I look through? It could happen. I like Fuck. how there's, there's an option to break it. What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hull's cracked beneath the water line, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? What the... what the hell is that? A fate worse than death. Yeah, this is creepy. <laughs> uh-huh. Someone's made Savannah their personal playground. Abandoned. Like every other place in this city. You know what that kind of reminds me of, Mal? That barricade? Huh. Remember in Half-Life 2, you get to Ravenholm, and after you play Only through the while, salvageable. Um, you find out that it's run by that crazy reverend? The mm -hmm. Talmadge Memorial Bridge. Can't imagine how many people tried to escape across it when the city started to fall. Look up, Nothing river. but water. Not a boat to be seen. Hmm. Plenty of docks, no boats. No sign of any boats down there. <laughs> Look to heaven. Uh, I guess go as far left as you can go. The person up there. What the hell? What? Get down! Get down! That is bizarre. Spider-Man? Seriously. Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Maybe he's just another scavenger like us. Yeah, and maybe he ain't. Maybe he's that fucker on the radio who's been messing with Clementine's head. Don't you want to know? Because I want to know. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, <sighs> take him by surprise. You got this, Mal. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're going to talk. How about no? You got it, Mal. All I can do is move forward. I'm trying to push right. Okay, you, you got there. What the? <gasps> oh, Lee gets knocked out again. Yep, missed that quick time event. I was trying so hard. Oh. No! Clem? Please, don't hurt him! Hmm. Where'd Kenny go? He wussed out. You're not from Crawford.
What? Crawford? What the hell are you talking about? Kenny, no, it's not our guy! Oh, you woke him up. No, he's with us! Jeez, man. Making new friends all the time. Who the hell are you people? <laughs> Kenny, back off. Unless you want this lady to give you another ass with her. Who are you calling lady? Her name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. We're not looking for any trouble. Hi. <laughs> you guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? No, I'm from Macon. Kenny here's from Florida. She didn't ask for our life stories, Lee. What's the deal with this Crawford place? You sure you want to know? Nope. When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't, or can't, live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. Hmm. Do you know who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who's been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast. Get in and out before they start to wander back again. Hmm. Clem, what the hell are you doing here? How'd you get out of the house? Well, Meat started getting really sick. Krista and Ben had to take him upstairs. I didn't just want to sit around there. I wanted to come help. I told you we didn't need any help. Really? Because if it weren't for her showing up when she did, I would have beaten your brains out. That's debatable. Uh-huh. <laughs> hmm. Was that you at our house this morning? Watching me through the back fence? Hell no. Believe it or not, I've got better things to do with my time. Hmm. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived. All the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. Hmm. That's not how our group does things. You're not saying they actually... I mean, kids? No, the children, they just forced to leave, along with their parents. Left them to fend for themselves out here in the world. Oh. Why? Like I said, zero tolerance. Crawford got rid of anyone that couldn't pitch in, pull their own weight. The way they looked at it, those people were just a lot of useless mouths to feed. A drain on their precious resources. You think that kid's parents is in Crawford? I don't know. You know all this. Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Hmm. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Came down here looking for a boat. Hoping to get our people out of here and find someplace safe.
Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You want to keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before... Great. Um, you got this, Mal. No. How about you got this? Your episode. Isn't that the... Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a... Is there another way out of here? Don't know, don't care. So what the hell are we supposed to do? I refer you to my previous answer. But you have to help us, please. We have a kid. Come on, make it fast. Oh God. Oh, you know you're gonna have a quick time event. Uh-huh. Or two good jumps. All right, quick time event. Fasterly. Yeah, casually walk. Hurry. Oh, that's inconvenient. Uh huh. Jump on the thing. Jump. Come on, Lee. Get your ass out of there. Can't get it open. You probably have to go up. Open. Oh no, you are going in the sewer. Really? By myself. With a nice pick. Oh god. No. Please! Somehow that didn't seem like the easiest way to go. Uh huh. But welcome to the sewer, Mal. Aren't they gonna get in? Yeah, like yeah. that. Oh, they're really bad at falling. Till they make a pile and land on them softly. You're really thinking ahead. Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Maybe we'll run into Chuck. Maybe. Shit. Maybe you'll run into that ominous figure. No. How about you run into the ominous figure? I'm not really sure if you're going to run into anything in the sewer. No, that one. No way I can pry that open. You still have the ice pick, though. Uh-huh. I bet I go in here. Seems likely. So have you ever been in Savannah sewers? You know, um, that wasn't one of the field trips, Mal. <laughs> not like a film class assignment what does that have anything to do with yeah, film walkers must be down here too right ain't touching that first thing i need is some god awful disease like walker syndrome I mean, I mean technically you all have the thing everyone's infected just comes out when you die it's a drainage pipe <sighs> Figures. You are stuck in a sewer. And there are wonderful noises. Let's go this way. There's a passageway. <laughs> do, 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 Did you do. I know. Okay. I'm sure you would have been fine walking that direction. Yep, you're gonna have to go down the other way. Dang. You'll be fine, probably. things by myself. Hmm. What's that thing do? You walked right past it. I know. Coming back. Probably opens Looks like water. Some kind of drainage pipe. 
Of course it is. Don't turn in that direction. Well, let's turn it the other direction. I thought it was always righty tidy lefty Lucy. This one's le righty Lucy. Oh, oh he's thirsty. thirsty. Out here. Not there. He seems loose. Shit. Won't go anymore in that direction. What was your other option? Take it off. Probably have to go put it on the other one. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you kind of ski in there a little bit. You got your ice pick. I know I do. Boondaba. This game. Those good old Savannah sewers. There's a... Okay. Yeah, you're fine. No worries. Thoughts left or right? They're all the same. Just pick one. You chose wrong. Don't turn in that direction. Just thrilling, thrilling dialogue. Alright, something's gonna happen. 95% of players chose to turn the wheel right. Okay, so, um... I don't know if I'd want to be, like, swimming in the water. They're gonna come after you. So you gotta get back in that thing to go around him, I bet. God, he really shuffles like an old man, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. Is that visible? Like, am I visible? The red? I mean, the longer it stays red, the more... Like, the more likely you are to die or something. You should probably wait till they're gone. Pro tip. The red's going away. That's good. Now, get the heck out of there. Should I go for it? Go for it. Lee? This way, Lee? Yes. Do a very, very light jog. Oh. Oh my god. Chuck, you must have tried to hide out down here. Poor bastard. No bullets. He must have saved the last one for himself. Mm. You deserve better, old man. That character was not around for long at all. Mm -mm. Basically, he was around for wisdom. He was around to be like, hey, cut that girl's hair. <laughs> Good! That seems like you got a problem there, Mal. You don't want to deal with that. Fuck. Maybe the gun was a bad move. Yeah, I think the ice pick was an option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Wow. You got a lot going on, don't you? No, I hate this! Okay, get the other one. Get the other one. You're really all about that gun. It's the first thing I saw. Wow, you gotta move quick. Shoot him. Oh, man. It's just a sign. It's just a sign. Shoot it. Oh my god, Mal. This is amazing. Where go? Where do? Where do? <laughs> Help! Oh, you are running out of time. Oh, there's a ladder. Right next to it. I see that. No way I could pick that up on my own. What do I do then? Uh, I think you die is what you do. I, I think you might be in trouble. Oh, can you grab it? I think it was going to work, but you literally ran out of time. Yeah. You were dead. Okay, well now I can ice pick it, can't I? Oh yeah. Quick time. Alright, in this alternate dimension, you never shot the gun. 
So you never alerted the walkers. Good job. And then you casually strolled out of the sewer. No way I could pick that up. No, you, you were doing it right. Yeah, you think I have to jump? But you can pause the game because you're not actually... You're done. Your episode's over. <laughs> That's it. That's it for today. You got to do all of the heart-pounding excitement. It was excitement. Yeah, Still not as scary as the guy through the gate. <laughs> all of a sudden, boom, and you were like jumping over there. Oh, it was great. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, next episode, I continue on, but not in the sewer, because that seems like a good place to avoid. I don't know why you were down there. That was crazy. That was yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> Bad decision. Shouldn't have went there. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. See you next time for more Stephen Amount Play, Telltale Games, The Walking Dead.